everything in the world can be understood without needing to invoke a god. You have to accept that that is one possible view to take about the world. Sure, that's possible. But, okay. but and, and do you deny that science cannot account for everything? Yes, I do deny that science So what can't it account for? Well, I, had you brought that up in the debate, I had a number of examples that I was going to give. Uh, I think there are a good number of things that cannot be scientifically proven, but that we're all rational to accept. Let, so, me, list, let me list five. Logical and mathematical truths cannot be proven by science. Science presupposes logic and math, so that to try to prove them by science would be arguing in a circle. Uh, metaphysical truths, like there are other minds other than my own, or that the external world is real, or that the past was not created five minutes ago with an appearance of age, are rational beliefs that cannot be scientifically proven. Ethical beliefs about statements of value uh, are not accessible by the scientific method. You can't show by science whether the Nazi scientists in the camps did anything evil as opposed to the scientists in Western democracies. Aesthetic judgments, number four, cannot be accessed by the scientific method because the beautiful, like the good, cannot be scientifically proven. And finally, most remarkably, would be science itself. Science cannot be justified by the scientific method. Science is permeated with uh, unprovable assumptions. For example, in the special theory of relativity, the whole theory hinges on the assumption that the speed of light is constant in a one-way direction between any two points A and B. But that strictly cannot be proven. We simply have to assume that in order to hold to the theory. But you're missing the whole... So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, all right. Okay. How about this? There's no truth in anything but science. Have you heard this? When you go to college, you're going to hear this. Atheists like Richard Dawkins say this. What's the problem with the claim? Look at it. What is it? What? That's not science. That's exactly right. You simply say, is that a scientific truth? Can you go in the laboratory and prove that? No, you can't go in the laboratory and prove that. That's a philosophical claim. And what's often forgotten is that you can't do science without philosophy. Science is built on philosophy. The problem is many scientists are poor philosophers. And I saw this gentleman walk in the door with his boss. And sure enough, they made a beeline to the hors d'oeuvre table. And uh, this, this uh, friend of mine introduced me to this gentleman. And no sooner did we exchange pleasantries when he said, well, I understand that you're a philosopher and a theologian. And I said, well, I give it my best shot. <laughs> and he said, yeah, he said, I used to be interested in that myself when I was a teenager. But I've outgrown it now because I realize now that if you can't test it and quantify your data and measure it in the laboratory, it's nothing but a bunch of idle speculation and hot air. You ever heard anybody express that attitude? A lot of people have that attitude. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I let him go for about another two minutes. And then I interrupted him and said, excuse me, but uh, I have a question. I'm a little bit puzzled. If I understand you correctly, if you can't quantify something in the lab and test it scientifically, then the assertion is nothing but idle speculation, a bunch of hot air. And he said, that's absolutely right. He said, I've believed this for a long time. And I said, well, you've said 30 or 40 sentences uh, that have come out of your mouth in the last two minutes. And of the 30 or 40 things you've said, I can't think of a single thing that can be tested scientifically. <laughs> I said, if I'm wrong, would you show me which statement you've made that is scientifically testable? But if I'm right, do you see my dilemma? <laughs> what you've been saying for the last two minutes is nothing but a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> Well, he changed the subject very quickly.